Apple shares hit a historic $1 trillion market cap value on Thursday, becoming the first publicly traded U.S. company to ever reach the milestone. The stock briefly hit the $207.05 per share price that was needed to bring Apple to the $1 trillion mark before retreating. Owning 10% of Apple right now sounds like a dream. But one man actually knows what it's like to watch that opportunity slip away. Ronald Wayne, the little-known third co-founder of Apple. On April 1, 1976, Wayne sat down at his typewriter and drew up an agreement outlining each man's responsibilities, making his role with Apple official. He also drew the company's first logo, which was used for less than a year before being replaced by the symbol associated with the company today. While both Jobs and Wozniak were young and broke, Wayne had assets, including including a house, and feared that the financial burden would fall on him if the deal went south. So after spending a mere 12 days with Wozniak and Jobs, Wayne had his name taken off the contract and sold his shares back to his co-founders for $800.